This is an adaptation of the poem Paul Bunyan by Shel Silverstein, spoken by Destiny Jones. He rode through the woods on a big blue ox. He had fists as hard as chopping blocks. 500 pounds and 9 feet tall. That's Paul. Talk about working. When he swung his axe, you could hear it ring for a mile and a half. Then he yelled, Timber! And down she'd fall for Paul. Talk about drinking. That man is so mean that he'd never drink nothing but kerosene. And a five gallon can is a little bit small for Paul. Talk about tough. Well, he once had a fight with a thunderstorm on a cold, dark night. I ain't saying who won, but it don't storm at all. Round here. Thanks to Paul. He was 90 years old when he said with a sigh, I think I'm going to lay right down and die. For sunshine and sorrow, I've seen it all. Says Paul. He says, There ain't no man alive can kill me. Ain't no woman around can thrill me. And I think heaven just might be a ball says Paul. So he died, and we cried. It took 18 men just to bust the ground. It took 24 more just to lower him down. And we covered him up, and we figured that was all for Paul. But late one night, the trees started shaking. The dogs started howling, and the earth started quaking. And out of the ground with a... Hi, y'all. Come Paul. He shook the dirt off from his clothes, he scratched his butt, and he wiped his nose. You know, being dead was no fun at all, says Paul. He says, Up in heaven, they got harps on their knees. They got clouds and wings, but they got no trees. I don't think that's much of a heaven at all, says Paul. So he jumps on his ox with a fairly well. He says, Well, I find out these trees in hell. And he rode away, and that was all we have ever seen of Paul. But the next time you hear a timber yell that sounds like it's coming from the pits of hell, then a weird and devilish ghostly wail, like somebody chopping on the devil's tail, then a shout, a call, a crash, a fall. That ain't no mortal man at all. That's Paul.